How do I use a vision system in FRC? In FRC, vision systems can be used to do a couple of different things. First, they can be used simply for your driver to get a better view from the robot's perspective on the field. You're allowed to stream video data from your robot to your driver station. You can also use vision systems for things like auto-targeting, imposed estimation, or odometry. These different categories of vision system actually end up using some very different characteristics. For a system that's intended for your driver's view, uh, we recommend color cameras with fisheye lenses, things that give your driver a wider perspective or viewpoint from the robot. These are particularly useful for games where a lot of your vision is obstructed, uh, like in this year's game Crescendo, where the stage really covers up the source from various perspectives on the field, particularly one of the three driver stations on each alliance. Your drivers can't always see everything on the field. Even if you in the stands can see something, they may not be able to see it at all. Putting a camera on the robot allows them to have just a second perspective that they can use to get that game piece that's around a corner that they can see another robot that's barreling towards them. This is important data for your drivers to have, even if it comes at the expense of a lower frame rate or compression. Make sure when you're testing with the driver vision camera that you're limiting the bandwidth so that you see in practice what you're really gonna be seeing on the field. The field has a limited amount of bandwidth that your robot network can use. So when you stream video data from your robot to your driver station, it's gonna be compressed, it's gonna be altered slightly. You wanna mimic that compression in practice before you get to the field. If you use too much data and transfer, you may end up losing some of your robot speed in terms of how fast your code is running because it takes a limited amount of processing power to send that data. So if you're sending a lot of data very quickly, you're probably gonna have a slower robot system overall. Anymark recommends using the ELP camera for driver vision. It has a huge fisheye lens, massive field of view, and operates at the frame rates and compression that FRC requires your robot to have. Another use case of vision systems is pose estimation or robot odometry. You can program your robot to keep track of its robot pose. Robot pose has to do with both what your robot is doing and its positioning in terms of itself, but also its position on the field. Vision systems can be used to estimate based on April tags, where your robot is on the field. April tags, now used in FRC and FTC, look a lot like QR codes, but they can be used to generate a three-dimensional pose from just looking at the tag with the camera. The camera is capable of measuring the skew of the tag in multiple dimensions to guess at where its position is based on only one April tag. But the more you can see, the more accurate that position is gonna be. So you'll see teams using multiple cameras and multiple coprocessors to really lock in on where they are on the field. For detecting April tags, we recommend monochrome cameras with a global shutter. So getting as high a frame rate in as possible to your coprocessor, it's getting you the best data, especially while you're in motion. Now, cameras aren't perfect. You don't wanna measure your pose based only on your vision measurements. You should also be using them in fusion with your drive encoders and IMU or gyroscope. April tags can also be used for sort of two-dimensional targeting, just detecting the skew of the tag in real space and your angle to the tag. This is sort of the more standard way of targeting things that FRC has been using for years. It's very similar to the retroreflective tape that has been on the FRC field for years and years. The Limelight, while originally designed to work with retroreflective tape and use sort of the more standard targeting methods, is also capable of detecting April tags and estimating pose based on that. The Limelight is a tried and true camera designed for FRC. It integrates a camera, LEDs, and a coprocessor to make sure that you have the smoothest process possible when doing vision targeting. The Limelight is capable of targeting both retroreflective tape and April tags, as well as getting pose estimation from April tags and delivering that to your robot. The line light uses the network tables protocol, so all you need to do to connect it to your robot is connect it to power and then to Ethernet on the base of the camera. In conjunction with the Google Coral, the Limelight is also capable of running machine learning pipelines. That means both neural detectors and neural classifiers. A neural detector will allow you to detect a game piece in view and identify its position in relation to your robot. A neural classifier can do something like look at a feeder station and determine if there's a game piece already sitting there for you. Remember, whenever you're using a camera on an FRC robot, you'll want to use that calibration period that you're allowed during an FRC event to make sure that your camera can detect everything as you expect. Events have different lighting conditions, have different setups, even slightly different positions of the field. You want to make sure that you have calibrated to your event 
not assuming it's going to work just like it does at home. Remember not to over rely on your cameras. Your robot should still be able to score and have other various functionalities without relying only on the camera system. While now in today's world, we have a pretty robust camera system available for FRC teams, there's always a chance that something's gonna go wrong. Either your camera's broken or it's not connected or for some reason it doesn't show up on your dashboard. There are loads of things that can go wrong. So make sure when you're using a camera, you have backups in place that allow you to still be competitively successful. In FRC, cameras are useful tools, but remember to use the right tool for the job. You don't want to be using a camera used for post estimation as a driver camera or vice versa. They have different characteristics and require different things. Even with the incredible technology of Limelight and other custom vision solutions, setting up a vision system, particularly for more complicated things like pose estimation, can be extremely difficult. Make sure that you're putting the time and investment into your schedule to build a robust vision system if you want to go that route. And that is how you use a vision system in FRC.